So you're ready to finish your project. You walk into the home center, you look at the shelf and the huge array of stuff that's available and your head starts spinning. You walk out in frustration. Forget it, I'm gonna skip the finishing. I know how this goes. It can be really frustrating. There's a gazillion products on the shelf, but I'm here to help you out. In broad categories, we can break all of those products down, all the top coat products into four categories. Here's what you've got. On my side, my left side here, oil, shellac, lacquer, and varnish. The top coat products that you can get from a home center will drop into these categories for you. Now let's talk a second about why we would use one or another of these finishes. Starting with the oil finish, starting with that one because it's about the easiest finish that you can put on. You wipe it on, you don't really have to worry about dust in your shop, settling on it, because you can always just wipe the dust off. That's the good news. Bad news, it's not very protective. Typically only a satin sheen if you can get that. If you want it to be real glossy, you're gonna have to put a paste wax over the top of the oil. The paste wax is gonna take long-term maintenance, kind of like wax in your car. You're gonna have to do it frequently to keep it looking good. Over the long haul, the good news with oil is it's very easy to repair. So if you get a scratch in it, really you can just dampen a rag with more oil, wipe over the scratch, unless you have wax on there. The wax would have to come off first with the help of mineral spirits, then you could reapply the oil, okay? Easy to apply, but not a real durable finish. Now let's take, up, take a step up to shellac here. Shellac's been around forever. Shellac is also very, very user-friendly, very easy to apply, very low fumes. So that's one of the user-friendly things. You're probably gonna put this on either with a brush out of the can or with an aerosol can like this. Now be aware that there are waxed shellacs and de-waxed shellacs. A wax shellac is gonna have a little bit more color to it. It's gonna give a little bit more of an amber tone to your project. The de-wax shellac is a little bit more transparent. The beauty of de-waxed shellac is that it is the universal go-between coat when you're using other top coat products. So what does that mean? I could put on a coat of de-wax shellac and put any of these other top coat products over the top of it. That's a very good thing to know about. Let's say you need to refinish a project and you don't know what the first coat of finish on there is. You could rough it up with sandpaper, put on a coat of shellac, any of the other stuff is gonna to stick to that shellac. So that's a very, very handy thing to know. Now, shellac also does not have real good durability or wearability compared to the other things we're gonna talk about over here, but it is better than the oil. It's also very, very repairable because each subsequent coat of shellac melts into the previous coat. So you got a shellac project and you get a scratch in it. You can put new shellac over the top of it, refresh the finish, everything's gonna be good. Good application for shellac would be small projects, toys, things of that nature. Now let's step up to lacquer. Lacquer is the finish that is probably on every stick of furniture in your house, everything that was commercially made. It's very, very widely used in industry. Part of the reason is that it dries very, very quickly. So think about a dusty environment. If we have a finish that dries slowly, there's a lot of opportunity for junk to get into the finish. That's no good. With shellac, it flashes or dries very, very fast, allowing very short amount of time between recoats and less likelihood of getting dust in it. Now, the, the lacquer that is used by industry is probably a product that is a little bit more heavy duty, a little bit more industrial than what we're looking at here, meaning it has greater wearability than the stuff that you're gonna get off the shelf at a home center. It's also specifically designed to be sprayed. That's the problem for most home hobbyist woodworkers is that if you don't have the facility to spray lacquer, it can be difficult to apply unless you look for an aerosol can of lacquer or you specifically look for brushable lacquers like this one. If it's called a brushable lacquer, it's gonna level out nice with a brush and it's gonna look good on your project and it's gonna provide a little bit better durability than the shellac or the oil. The downside to it is its water resistance and its alcohol resistance is good, but not great. You want the best of that world, you wanna come up here to varnish. Now when we talk about varnish, varnish means varnish and polyurethane. Polyurethane is a little bit more scratch resistant than something that's just called a varnish. The good news about the varnish is that it's very, very brush friendly. 
which means for most home hobbyists without spray equipment, this is a finish that levels out very nice under a brush. The reason for that is that it dries slowly. Now think about the negative aspect of a slow dry time. That means you've got this open in your shop, your, on your project, for a long time. Lots of opportunity for stuff to sift out of the air and end up in the top of your project. So that slow cure time helps with brushing, more problematic as far as getting stuff in the finish goes. And what we do need to do here is make sure that between coats, you're sanding your project out nicely. We gotta get some tooth between coats. In other words, that first coat has to get roughed up a little bit in order for the second coat to be 100% sure of having good adhesion. On the end here, I've got some water-based poly. We can drop that into the polyurethane category and it does offer better wear and durability than lacquer does, not quite as good as a solvent-based polyurethane. So again, step back from that shelf at the home center where all those products are, Keep in your mind four categories, oil, shellac, lacquer, varnishes, and remember the workability and wearability characteristics of each one, and you'll be able to pick the right finish out for your shop.